Good day guys, it's Peter and only behind the camera together we are two hungry diners. Well guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and in this video, we are going to take you to explore the best of Melbourne in 24 hours. We are going to take you to the best places to visit and also eat all in 24 hours. We've been planning to make this video for quite a while and we finally get a chance to do it. The weather is glorious today, but before we begin exploring, we're gonna get some coffee first. Let's go, let's get some coffee. Voted as the most livable city in the world for many years running, Melbourne certainly has a lot to offer. Whether it is food, entertainment, sporting events or wineries, the list goes on and Melbourne has everything you could be looking for and more. We've been living in this beautiful city for more than 15 years and we think we are qualified to show you around to get the best of Melbourne if you are short on time. Along this video, we will show you different activities and options you can choose, mix and match to suit your interests and we hope we can entice you to book your flight to Melbourne very, very soon. Alright guys, we are on Swanson Street right now and we are checking out this coffee shop called Puzzle Coffee. Let's go. Melbourne coffee is probably the best in the world, if not one of the best in the world. And Melbourne is actually the coffee capital of Australia and when you are in Melbourne you have to order the coffee even if you are not a coffee drinker and I'm gonna teach you a little trick that um, I order a drink here coffee based drink that only available in Melbourne it's called magic so it's double risk retro um, which is like a small shot of espresso the first half of the espresso and adult milk and I also order this edible cup from puzzle coffee as well smells absolutely amazing it's just like hits me in the spot and wake up immediately let's try it. amazing amazingly good and I'm gonna try to bite this edible cup It's actually like a very plain uh, grainy biscuit, doesn't really have like much flavor on it. But yeah, it's, it's, some people say it's a gimmick, but I mean, why not, right? Okay guys, we're done with the coffee. Now I need something to fill in my tummy. Let's go get some pastry. Right now we are queuing up at Loon in the Melbourne CBD store and they actually have a headquarter in Fitzroy so that's the first store in Melbourne, open in Melbourne this is their second store in Melbourne CBD and they also just recently opened in Armadale and one in Brisbane and they are going to open up a new one soon in Sydney so this is actually the best, the best croissant in the world Quoted by CNN. So this is a very, very must have. You have to try this croissant store in Melbourne. Croissant, pastry, everything in between is actually very, very competitive sport in Melbourne. There are a lot of pastry shops here. And yeah, maybe this, this is the only one that has very, very long queue almost every day. We have covered a few pastry shops in the past. Make sure you check out that video, top five bakery spots in Melbourne. Let's check this out. For today, we got two pastries. This one, the traditional croissants, $6.60. And this one is a special Christmas one, the chocolate and peppermint. But you need to see the traditional one is always a classic one. Uh, 
very, very precise. The layer of the pastry, oh, super precise. I really love the lamination here. Oh, super crunchy, very, very flaky pastry. Cannot go wrong with the traditional croissant. Super delicious, very buttery. Mm. Best croissant in the world. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of peppermint, but we have to try this because this is the December the Christmas special. Oh, very chocolatey. <laughs> Pretty good. I love that the brownie as the topping on top here. I think it's like a brownie butter or biscuit maybe. Yeah, but I would love without the peppermint maybe. <laughs> yeah, still good. It's pretty good. Mm. All right, guys. We finished with the coffee and croissant. Let's go explore Melbourne now. Nothing is more refreshing than a breeze stroll in Melbourne's parks and gardens, and many of them are freely accessible to the public. Our recommendation is to visit Royal Exhibition Building, the Carlton Gardens, and the Melbourne Museum. The Royal Exhibition Building is one of the main attractions in Melbourne and is awarded the UNESCO World Heritage Site status. The building has a long history, but it was first constructed in 1880 for Melbourne's first international exhibition. The surrounding beauty of the Carlton Gardens add to the experience and presents a memorable photo opportunity, both candid and for that special occasion. This is a true landmark of Melbourne and a must-see destination for travellers to Melbourne. The Melbourne Museum, located adjacent to the Royal Exhibition Building, will run out your experience here. It is also home to the largest IMAX theatre in the Southern Hemisphere and hosts several interesting exhibitions throughout the year. Without a doubt, Melbourne is the capital city of Australia when it comes to brunch. And we always say brunch is a competitive sport here and there are some exceptional brunch options in Melbourne waiting to be explored. We recently tried this amazingly popular cafe inspired by Wes Anderson's film, The Grand Budapest Hotel, called the Budapest Cafe located in Carlton. The interior is striking and decorated with a refreshing and calm color palette of pastel pink hues. Their menu features the essence of Asian fusions, such as mentaiko udon and matcha hotcake titled Escape from the Forest, which are just begging to be devoured by hungry customers. Mm. Oh, super creamy. Mm. Love the mentaiko. Mm. This one, their best selling. The matcha pancake called Escape to the Forest. So fluffy. Mm. Oh. So they give us this mini hammer to smash the ice cream cone here. Well, it's just for theatrical element. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the food is decent, it's tasty, what we order is uh, quite tasty, we love it and yeah, but be mindful guys, the wait time can be a bit long <laughs> so make sure you maybe come early because the, you know, it's not too big, the cafe is not too big I think we're just gonna take a break for a while. We've done a lot of eating in the last hour and I am so full right now. So we're gonna take a break and just relax and chill out a bit before we explore more of Melbourne. Right now we are in Burke Street Mall and there are plenty of entertainment here and sitting area as well. So I'm just gonna sit down, relax and chill for a bit. Melbourne 
Thailand has so many places to visit and to explore. If you love shopping, for example, we recommend you guys to go to Queen Victoria Market. We have a complete, the ultimate guide you ever need if you want to visit Queen Victoria Market. If you love building, if you love architecture, for example, I think the best place to visit is the Royal Exhibition Building and also the State Library of Victoria. They both have amazing architectures. And if you want to relax and enjoy the nature, we recommend you guys to visit some of the beautiful gardens in Melbourne. One example is Royal Botanical Gardens. Another example is the Carlton Garden and Fitzroy Garden. They are both very, very beautiful. Okay guys, we've done the first bit of sightseeing in Melbourne and I am super hungry right now. We are at this place called Pinto Thai and we are checking out their food today because um, we haven't tried this cafe before or this restaurant before, so very excited. This latest edition of Thai food in Melbourne CBD is proving to be worthy of a visit. They are very popular with Thai boat noodle soup. Oyster blade beef boat noodle soup was pretty delicious. It was thick, rich, and packed full of flavors. It reminded us of our trip to Bangkok a couple years back. Only opted for the classic on rice selection. Rice topped with stir-fried braised beef, basil, and fried egg. And it did not disappoint at all. If you love Thai cuisine, you must check out this hidden gem. Alright guys, that lunch was Awesome, but if Thai food is not your jam, like we said, we have a lot of recommendations for cheap eats um, in Melbourne CBD and yeah, check out our YouTube channel. I think it's time for some dessert right now because that Thai food was super rich. I need something sweet to, you know, cut it off and, you know, just enjoy the sweet treat that Melbourne has to offer. Let's go, let's find some. Alright guys, for dessert, today we are checking out Kariton Sorbetes. I'm not super sure about the correct pronunciations, but this is a Filipino-inspired dessert, ice cream, and gelato shop. Let's go! Today, we are getting two flavors uh, in a cone. So the first one here, the top one, is the Ube Halaya. Very, very classic Filipino dessert. Uh, the second one here is like inspired uh, kind of like dulce de leche, but, but with added biscuit. So the name is like biscuit. <laughs> By the way, this store is actually the second store. So the main store, they open it in uh, food spray, but we haven't got a chance to visit uh, that store. But so glad they open in the city so we can try. It's actually closer to where we live. Let's try the Ube Halaya. So it's melting very quickly right now. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, there's a little bit of bitterness. There's some crunchiness as well. Had pieces of biscuit somewhere in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna try the this biscuit here, dulce de leche. Mm. Your pick, right? I think this is the winner. Really, really nice. I love dulce de leche. Really, really yummy. Mm. There are plenty of dessert options here in Melbourne from Italian gelato, Japanese cake shop, Korean bingsu. The options are endless. But maybe you can go for second coffee after lunch. Why not? shopping is not your thing, then one of the activities that we can suggest is come stroll along Yara River. There are many cafes, restaurants, and bar around where you can enjoy a drink or two with your friends or families. This bar behind me is called Arbory Afloat, and they only open during summer season. And they have like a pool by the river, which is very, very cool. Yeah, you can grab a drink, you know, enjoy the beautiful, uh, weather in Melbourne, but 
if bar is not also your thing, you can also uh, hire one of the boats or go to like ferry or cruise along the Yara River and you'll be guaranteed a treat because we've done it before and the scenery is amazing. You can feel like city skyline, Melbourne city skylines uh, from the boat and it is very, very nice. using trams where you can watch sunset oh it's so beautiful right now but it's a bit windy a bit chilly well this is Melbourne weather a bit unpredictable what we can do <laughs> it's Melbourne and yeah we are just gonna you know chill watch some people swimming on the beach just enjoying their evening time and yeah there's some music background as well it's pretty chill vibe in here, really really like, like it, like it. And maybe after this we're gonna find some dinner, but for now, enjoy the sunset. If you somehow follow this guide and find yourself in St. Kilda, then there are plenty of food options here, especially on Carlisle streets. We recorded this video during Christmas holiday and we found some of the businesses were either closed early or full because of the Christmas party. We ended up trying this burger and schnitzel joint called Fat Jacks. The staff was friendly and easy to deal with, but most importantly, the burger and schnitzel tasted great. Overall, it was great dinner option at St. Kilda after visiting the beach. Alright guys, our dinner at Fat Jack's in St. Kilda concludes this video, the best 24 hours in Melbourne. Hopefully this video will give you a nice idea how to get the best out of Melbourne if you have only a very short period of time to spend in this lovely city. And yeah, I think, I think the key is to start early and grab some coffee and you are ready to go. If you like this video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel for more food and travel content. Until then, stay foolish, stay hungry, bye for free